Today we're at Mwanga Lodge, situated 42 kilometers north of Harare. The lodge, located deep in the bushy Enterprise Valley, offers overnight accommodation away from the hustle and bustle of city life. The accommodation consists of individual A-framed lodges, each twin bedded with ensuite facilities and a private balcony. From within this perfectly situated lodge, one can enjoy an enchanting view of various species of game. To the uninitiated eye, the wildlife roaming this plain is just game. But there are fascinating facts to learn about these animals. Gordon and Debbie Potterill, who run this place, are wells of information when it comes to the game roaming the area. On this hot afternoon, there is a lot to see with Debbie and Gordon's expertise making the safari worthwhile. Buffalo, Elan, Zebra, Ostrich, Giraffe, Wildebeest, Elephant, Blessbok, Lion and a Pygmy Mouse among the things to be seen on this day. And before we forget, there is a new creature in the wild, a Zonkey. Yes, a Zonkey hybrid between zebra and donkey. But for now, Debbie provides some useful information about the ostrich. The world's biggest bird, the ostrich, these are two females, and you can see they're, they're browsing the grass. Um, the female is this, this dull brown because she sits on the eggs during the daytime. And the male, which you can't see at the moment, is, is black with white feathers, and he sits on the eggs at night. Inside the stomach they have a whole lot of stones and this is what they use to grind their food. And if an ostrich can't find a stone, he, he can die of starvation because he can't grind up his food. If you look at the feet, they are two-toed creatures and that, that is their defense. They strike forward so they can, if a man comes up to it when they're on breeding conditions, they can strike with that foot and they can actually rip open a man with the claw and disembowel him. Yeah, there's a bit of conflict with the, the buffalo. Ostriches are not the brightest of creatures and we have had incidents here where they have actually kicked a buffalo and then the buffalo retaliates and the ostrich comes off second best. From the world's biggest bird to one of the smallest mammals, a pygmy mouse, All right, here we've got the world's smallest mouse. It's called the pygmy mouse, Mus minutoides. It's a, this is full grown, probably a female, I'm not sure. Uh, occurs over many parts of Zimbabwe, but seldom seen by anybody because of its tiny size, and people probably assume it's a baby. From birth to having her own babies, this little mouse takes only 42 days. That's how fast they grow. A herd of thirsty buffalo approaches the waterhole, a few meters away from the lodge. The aggressiveness of this herbivore is unmistakable in its gait and poise. Right, we have a old buffalo bull skull here. Uh, he's worn the tips of his horns off over many years. And uh, he's a fully mature buffalo. You can see the bulls have the development of what we call a boss which is an area of thickened bone and very much thicker horn, which creates a bony shield around the brain area here. So this whole boss area covers the brain, which is underneath, and acts like a massive shield, very, very powerful shield. And the horns drop around the side of the face, making uh, further protecting his head and his skull. The, the neck is covered with a very thick layer of skin protecting his neck and from a from a uh, hunting point of view or a self-defense point of view this is actually a very tough uh, target for penetration by a rifle you need a big game rifle an elephant sort of gun caliber 375 upwards buffalo are very aggressive they're not used to they're not used to anything picking a fight with them despite its belligerent behavior the buffalo like many grazers and browsers, has friends in these kettle egrets. They will rid the animal's skin of bothering parasites, such as ticks. But on this occasion, the birds are perched high on the dry branches of a tree, where the air is cooler. 
Only the giraffe can enjoy the same privilege. From its feet, though. We've got a bull giraffe here, tallest land mammal in the world. Probably around six meters tall. Notice as he walks how both legs on one side move together, a bit like a camel. Hence the um, Afrikaans name, camel, camel pert, camel-like horse. Giraffe are, are very interesting creatures. The long neck and long legs enables them to reach brows, vegetation in the tops of trees or at, at a height at which nothing else other than elephant and of course monkeys can get to. But it comes with a price. There are huge design problems with that shape. Uh, if you look at the creature you'll see that the brain is uh, two, two and a half meters above the level of the heart which causes uh, huge uh, pressure challenges to the heart. The legs, the toes are now two two and a half meters below the level of the heart. So now we have the opposite problem. We have very high pressure in the, in the legs, which is bad for, for blood return to the heart. You can get what's called blood pooling. Um, the blood would pool in, in, in the bottom of the legs, form a big sock uh, and battle to return. So the giraffe has some very interesting uh, design functions, features. He has uh, highly elastic skin around his legs that like grip it very tightly like a very powerful stocking and forces the blood to return to the heart. The giraffe also is one of the only creatures when he drinks, puts his head or picks up something from the ground way below the level of his heart and now you have a huge problem with back pressure into the brain and he's the only creature with valves in the carotid arteries that supply his brain to stop a sudden back pressure and apparently the blood vessels around the brain can, in, can briefly swell and take this excess pressure away from his brain. He has a narrower windpipe than most creatures, but we know from cat catching giraffe that they're kind of living on a knife edge with oxygenation. And they're very complicated creatures to catch because if they're stressed and we drug them, um, they collapse and die very easily. Meanwhile, Debbie sprinkles some concentrate on the ground to lure the animals closer to the cameras. Despite its size, the gentle-natured giraffe tolerates the company of lesser mortals. Right, we've put food down for this giraffe bull and you can see that the eland and even the, the ostrich have uh, immediately gone to take the food up. They're quite gentle-natured creatures. He's not, even though he could, driving them out the way. He's not attempting to do that. Uh, he has a bull giraffe skull, very much the same age and size as that one. It's a very large skull, but actually surprisingly relatively light, not as heavy as one would think. 